welcome again. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to start tackling this bramble. I've got one here, it's huge. Uh, the only way you can get through it is snipping bits at a time. Just be very, very careful please. It's very, very spiky. You won't necessarily be able to get right down to the bottom to start with, so sometimes it's best to start at the top chop bits away as much as you can at a time, two feet, three feet, something like that, and then gradually work your way down to the bottom. When you can actually see the bottom, then cut it off as close to the ground as you possibly can. And then that way, one, you don't fall over it as you walk along, and two, it's actually, <clears throat> it will then be easier to get out. So I'll just start snipping away, and let's have a go. You see, as you can hope you can see there, these are actually these ones are quite small. Some of them are really vicious. There's there's an old one here. Ooh. There we are, and they are really pointy. If you get these in your fingers, they really do hurt. Either be extremely careful, as as I am, and hopefully we won't get any in there. But <clears throat> otherwise, use some really really thick gloves. Okay, so I'm just going to cut some more, cut them up into relatively small pieces and then just get rid of them. I don't know if you can see from here, but the big expanse of dear old brambles that we have to try and shift, uh, they're not easy. When you've finally got down to the bottom, you need to dig out and try and get as much of those roots out as possible. Sometimes you have to dig round to be able to then <laughs> get the base of it up if you can't cut it down as low as you can and sometimes little ones sprig up but they're much easier to to get rid of but I'm just gonna just gonna snip some more away now I'm hoping that you can see to where I'm pointing at the moment I've cut down, now I suppose there's like six inches here. When I say cut down to the bottom, I mean cut as close to the soil as you can. And if you do find any that you haven't actually got down to yet, to a decent size, cut those off as well, because then it will stop those ones growing as well and they won't grow anymore. And if you're lucky, they might actually die. So there's, oh gosh, there's a very big one here. I might have to cut this one off in sections. <laughs> Some of them are very, very thick and extremely difficult to get off. Be very careful when you scoop the, the grass away. Oh look, we've got another couple there. As we're down here and we can get to them, we might as well take those ones off as well. And that's basically all it is uh, with the brambles. Hack it down, be very careful and eventually you will make a dent in there. I'm going to carry on now with, <clears throat> with trying to cut these brambles down and trying to get down as much as I possibly can but I can't emphasize enough, please wear suitable gloves she says and she's not actually wearing any herself but if you would like to wear gloves otherwise you will get prickles in your hands and they are difficult to get out okay so enjoy uh, next time when I come back to you we'll be digging some more beds hopefully I would have made a nice big dent in here and I'll also be showing you how to prepare your bed uh, the <clears throat> the rest of the beds that I've done in my other allotment uh, ready for winter as we're getting to that season now I'll see you soon Bye-bye.